Imagine having to flee Ukraine as a young girl having to leave behind your life, including your best friend, which would be your cat. That's exactly what happened to one Ukrainian family, but with the help of Cron 4's Ken Wayne and many others, that helped, they helped them become whole once again. And Ken joins us now to talk about this story. Ken, thank you so much. You bet, Olivia. Yeah, so we talked about this just a little bit last time you were here mm -hmm. on Live in the Bay. Now I have to know, tell, me, tell all of our viewers, what is the base of this story and what's going to happen with this young girl and her cat? So this family from Ukraine fled Odessa and they in trans they had to leave all their animals they had to leave everything behind they had to get out and so they basically got in a car and whatever you can put in a car and they couldn't bring their animals they went to romania for a few months finally got uh, permission to come to the united states they're up in sonoma county now and uh, everything's nice and stable and they're secure they're safe um, but the little girl who is 10 years old couldn't sleep at night she was mm -hmm. crying every day and her mom was like what's the problem and she missed her cat and so she couldn't get over that. And so her mom's like, I got to figure out a way to get a cat out of Ukraine here. And That's that, mission. that is the story. And she made it happen. And so we tell that story. And we are so excited to see that story because yeah. we, our viewers can catch that tonight on Cron mm -hmm. 4 multiple times. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. But how did this unfold? How did they make it happen? Who worked together? Yeah, so um, she, she actually was explaining this to a flight attendant that she stayed in touch with after they landed in San Francisco and the flight attendant uh, who lives in Monterey knew another flight attendant who rescues animals on the side who lives in Hawaii and that woman in Hawaii called her friend who lives in Houston and said you know there's a network uh, that you don't hear about of flight attendants who actually do rescue animals and they take animals on their planes and get them out of dangerous situations so together they all said if we can get the cat out of Ukraine because we can't get into Ukraine, then we can get it here somehow. Well, there's a, another friend of theirs who was on vacation in Greece and they got uh, uh, the uncle, put the cat on a motorcycle, drove wow. it to Moldova where it was picked up by a guy in a Mercedes who was taking refugees to Bucharest and they brought the cat with them. So the cat stayed in Bucharest for like two months uh -huh. while they got all there it is right there the cat's name is uh, Arseni 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 and uh, they uh, got all the documents there's the tuk-tuk driver in Bucharest who was helping the woman get all the paperwork stopping at the veterinarian to get the shots and the microchip anyway they got the cat on a plane to Athens and here we go stopped in Montreal the girl lived in Seattle cat ends up in Seattle the family finds out the cat is finally in the United States and they fly to San Francisco. This is about two weeks ago. And I was there at the airport at SFO when the little girl oh. finally got to see her cat after months and months, 7,000 miles, six countries. There she is waiting with her signs. And here comes Mimi, who lives in Seattle with the cat in the bag. But we're not going to reveal what happened because we're saving it for tonight. So you saving can watch. Saving it for the story. <laughs> yeah. So it was just so emotional. It's amazing how many people came together to help a little girl get her cat in the middle of a war. It's really pretty incredible. Now, some people listening to this might say, well, come on, Ken, it's just a cat. And I it know. traveled all around the world just yep. to get to this girl. But yep. you were there, you were with the family, and you saw mm -hmm. how emotional this moment mm -hmm. was. So yeah. tell us, why is it more than just a cat? That's how I start the story. I say, this is a story about a little girl, a cat, and a war. And that's it. And it's, you boil it down to the basics of life, right? And uh, this little girl had to flee and leave her the whole family had to leave their life behind and it just shows the bond between people and animals and their pets and uh, how important that is mm -hmm. and I think people who know pets and enjoy their pets know that that's something special and everybody around the world who didn't know the family worked to make this happen to bring this little girl some joy after everything she's been through and now that cat they're together and she's sleeping with her cat again at night Aww. so it's like how important is that i think it's pretty important i think so too yeah. and you know it brought a piece of home exactly. with her now here in america like you said they've been through so much so right. now that she has that comfort right of of the family now ken you've told so many of these incredible stories and how you've reunited our furry friends with other people before or just straight up helped save some of these animals what made this story a little bit different than just, some of the other ones. Well, there's, I mean, a lot of them are difficult, but this is like beyond. I mean, I, I haven't worked on a war story and a pet, so, and I've been doing this a while, so this was really different in that way. And also, 
the, ex the extreme uh, grat nature, the extreme effort that everybody put into it. I mean, the tuk-tuk driver just found out about it from the, the woman from, who was on vacation in Greece, and she goes, oh, I need to get dropped off because I got to go get this cat for this little girl in America. And he's like, oh, help. And he didn't mm. charge. The veterinarians did all the stuff. They, they didn't charge. They drove in the middle of the night. The veterinarian's wife was pregnant, and they drove her and the cat back to the hotel so that they would wow. make sure they got there safely. All these people just did all this extra stuff out of their own time, uh, their own cost, to help a little girl that they didn't know. I mean, that's, that's just how it is. I mean, I, I think that's how the world is in general. We all want to help, even in the, in the middle of something so terrible as a war. Yeah, and that is so rewarding to just sit here and hear that there were so many people involved mm -hmm. in yeah. getting this cat back to this little girl. Yeah. Well, where can people catch this story tonight? So tonight at 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and 10 o'clock on Cron 4 News, uh, probably towards the end of the newscast at, at each hour. It'll be posted online on Cron4.com and it'll probably run sometime tomorrow on the morning show. Um, so we'll get a lot of mileage out of this. And there's a follow-up, too. So there will be a second story next week on how the family in general is settling in to Sonoma County. The whole town of Cloverdale has come together. They moved into a house that was bare with nothing in it. They have furniture. They have a vehicle. They get food. They're just really supported by, they've been adopted by the town of Cloverdale in Sonoma County. And now they have their cat and they feel like they can move forward. You know, the, there's two other daughters that are teenagers. They're starting to go to junior college and um, go to school. Um, they're all learning English and uh, they're becoming Americans and they're probably going to stay here and not go back. So wow. it's just a tremendous story. That's, that's amazing. I, I love hearing stories like that. So yeah. heartfelt. Well, we're looking forward to watching this tonight on Cron 4, like 6, 8, and 10, like Ken said. So thank you so much for sharing a little piece of this story with us here on Live in the Bay. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.